guys, so I am in the middle of packing my dorm, sorta, because next week, Friday, I leave for the summer, and it was a good, good year living in this dorm. It's a nice dorm. Nice size. It was good living in it. But I will be leaving, and oh well. But tonight is going to be lit. I will record. I will get records from people. I will show you later. But I'm just laying in on the floor watching YouTube because my class got canceled today and my parents are coming and my brother's coming today to hang out with me. We're going to get Mexican food. Dad's going to pick up a couple things that need to go home this week so I don't have to drag it home next week. So, let's get on with my day. The elevator smells like weed. <coughs> uh, well. So, I am on my way to go get lunch and then I'm going to go to DSS and tell them that I have a final Monday and I need to take it in there. The DSS office makes me have time and a half on my tests and then it lets me go in and take the test in there with no distractions and I'll let you know it's for my disabilities but anyway I'm gonna go do that real quick get lunch I'm going the wrong way so I'm gonna go the long way to DSS today oops oh well I think my brain was thinking food instead of thinking go to DSS first oh well go the elevator the trash can in the elevator well, I'm meeting my parents because they're here. Dunking some bodies. All right, so the next person that we have up is Catherine. Catherine, come on down. Hi, Catherine. So, um, one thing that, that stood out to me in your story is how throughout your life, even though you were Christian, you you had this, you felt this pressure in your life to get baptized. And so you, there was a, just a long period of your life where you didn't take that step because it felt like it wasn't something that you wanted to do, but something that other people wanted you to do. And so you kept putting it off, you kept putting it off, you just kind of forgot about it. And then when you came to JSU, you started getting involved with church, started getting involved with Engage, BCM, places like that, and this desire to get baptized kind of came back into your life. What I what I love about your story, Catherine, is that you said, okay, so now I am ready to get baptized, right? Now I am ready to make that public declaration to everybody that I belong to Jesus. And so a verse that I thought about with you is, was Romans 6, 4. Paul's talking about baptism here, and he says, and we were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. And so, Catherine, here's my prayer for you. My prayer for you is that after today, that you'd be somebody who shines Christ so much, that you walk so much in this new life that Jesus has offered you through his life and his death and his resurrection, which is exactly what this baptism represents. That you shine in such a way that people look at you and they see what life you have and they want that life. They see that you're living out in this relationship with the Father in a way that reflects what Christ has done for us. And that through that, people all across your life, would you see somebody who understands this new life and is walking in it. It is my privilege to baptize you, Catherine, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Morning guys, so I'm just sitting here watching YouTube till I have to go to my last day of PE. I need to fill up my water bottle, but have it yet. I need to clean my room and fold my laundry and I haven't yet. But yesterday I got baptized and it was such a magical time. It was such a glorious time and I'm glad I did it. And I'll show you a video of what my boyfriend took and pictures if I have any but as of right now today is going to be another busy day because 
it is formal for BCM and I can't wait my nose is stopped up a little from allergies but yeah today's a good day I'm painting my nails because I have a banquet tonight and my friend Erin's doing my hair because I ain't gonna do my hair so I'm just waiting for these to dry completely so I can put on my dress do my makeup and get to his place by five. I have no idea what time it is. It's 3.55, so I've got an hour and five minutes. And I am gonna do some homework today. I promised myself that. I'm gonna do homework. So, my life. But, you know, I got a week left here. And then I say goodbye for the summer. It's gonna be sad. It's gonna be worth it. I say bye to Kristen. Love my roommate. But, you know, things happen. But, I'm about to go there. And here's one of the shirts that I got for free. I got this shirt for free from the Social Work Club because I want a swag bag. I also got another free t-shirt. So basically my long sleeve Social Work shirt, I got a short sleeve of it. And then I got the baseball tee of last year's shirt. So, fun times, fun times. But I will record better next week because this week has been pretty choppy on recording because I keep forgetting, but I'll keep on on it. <laughs> On my Snapchat. <laughs> I don't know why I'm on your Snapchat all the time. <laughs> Smile though. Just cleaning up. I'm the only one doing this left. Oh well. Okay, so I'm taking off my decorations from the living room and the A and C are not coming off the wall. So I'm gonna have to get my roommate to help me. I'm terrible at pointing. That mark I made, yeah, the cross made it coming off. I was like, lovely. I broke the wall, but, and I feel really bad that I broke the wall. So the C is already trying to break the wall. The A is trying to break the wall. I'm just freaking out, so I'm going to stop freaking out, get my roommates to take this off the wall, and then I'm going to slowly let my dad take everything off the wall that's stuck to the wall because I'm afraid to do it. So I'm clearly trying to pack away my room. I think later on tonight when I get up there, I'm going to take all the decorations down. I'm going to start taking everything down and putting them away. I don't want to leave, but today's been nothing but lounging around. So, that's what I'm going to do. Maybe later on, go get food. I don't know. But yeah, one of my other roommates is packing her stuff away. And another one's not leaving till Thursday. Another one's not leaving till Saturday. I'm not leaving till Friday. One of the roommates already left. So, it's the end of the semester. It's sad, but yeah, final Monday, final Tuesday, done. Yeah, so I just sat at that table for like 10 minutes just to seeing all the stuff I got. I'm so blessed to have a boyfriend who has a mother who gives me this. I'm blessed that she gave me this. Anyway, I should be doing homework right now, but Catherine don't want to do homework. She'll do homework tonight. 
she also is the only one here today. Angel will come by later. I have to burp. Apparently, I don't. This morning, I saw a spider in the dorm. It went under the couch. Ooh, excuse me. It went under the couch and then came back from under the couch. Scared the living crap out of me. I'm usually not scared of spiders, but that one kind of scared me. Because it was just out of the blue. And then, um, yeah. That's life. I'm gonna go. Bye.